Show them the rip. Same thing, ability. You might have seen it before, might be a little different. Um, we were working on some different en um, ways to enter in for Arimi Nagi. So we'll start off the basic way and then we'll keep progressing through some of the stuff we found the other night. Right? So, uh, OG, just want to start off with Tiny Miko. So as he grabs, right, everything starts Tiny Miko, right? Traditional. Entering in, big toe to big toe. Right now, a couple of different ways you can look at this. Bring this this way, move your center towards your hand. You'll see some people more circular. Right? It depends on you. Aikido isn't one body, one person, one way of doing it. Right? Otherwise, it would never work. It would never grow. <clears throat> so try it both ways. So move your center to your hand, toe to toe. Right? Or you can move more circular with the technique. Right? So as you enter in, kokyu. Right, directing his energy this way, feel it, and complete your tank on right, extending out. Oh, again, so same thing, try it both ways. Try moving directly to your hand. Right, feel your partner, they should be pushing this way. You continue that motion, moving forward. Oh. And try it more circular as well. So coming in here and letting this go circular. Make sure, right, make sure you're grounded, good homie, and the whole time. Oh. Oh. Okay, grab a partner, tiny ego. Smuts. Smuts. Uh, one of the sound five, please. Right. Please bury it. Bury it. Okay. Team together. Trying to push up. How are you doing that? Because if you go that far in, right. and same thing, um, she shouldn't be able to move her hands. You want that energy extended. So you don't want to step so far. Just touch your big toe. And that's you. That's how it's going So we turn it over. Probably be better, but I don't know if I can switch to it now without turning it off. Because the further the tighter you have, the closer into you, I can bump you off. That's okay for bottom foot right here. Nope. You want to be close there, but extend out forward. Okay. Not not leaning your body too far forward, but your arms. Okay. Oh. Hey. 
Try to avoid, uh, you start going to seminars and start training other places, people don't always take care of their troll feet or dragon claws, as they call that. <clears throat> and you end up getting you know, some pretty gnarly battle wounds from seminars, right? Yeah, it, it happens a lot. Um, so as he's entering in, right, I'm getting off the line, dropping my center, just doing it in motion. Other side. Right. So when I present, he steps in, letting his motion continue forward. So I present. Ready? Oh. Oh. Now if his motion or momentum continues to go forward, you slide forward with your partner. Right. So, Tanohiko. Uh, you guys can grab the same partners. Mishimasu. Mishimasu. Tanahiko Kinonigari. It's not about doing it fast. Um, just blending with your partners. Koku, I can do whatever I want to him at this point, right? He's not stopping me from doing anything. But what he's doing is thinking, bulking. <clears throat> Push, pull. Even the size difference. It's hard for me to bend my elbow. Right? Akito's not about muscling your partner or the attacker, right? It's blending with them. Easiest thing to do is dropping his elbow and Koku. Right? So as I do that, it starts taking his balance. Right? His balance starts to go this way. So I drop this elbow. My big toe goes to the outside of his little toe. Right? I'm going to bring my front foot around, turn my ring, raising up, thinking bulking. Right? The third subbuddy. Stepping across his center, turning and dropping. 
side. So you can grab, oh, drop that elbow, start to take the balance, right? Moving it around his center. My goal is I want to end up, right, when I raise up, step across, I'm taking his spot on the line. Right where he was. So as he grabs, drop that elbow. And as I'm dropping my elbow, my front foot moves in. I ring front foot gets closer to my back foot. Take a big step behind him as I raise up. And my front foot follows. And dropping my center. Just like Tyler Hinko, um, you can either go straight down. Right, as you were me, you go more circular. Projecting out depending on the person. Right? For some reason you can't get this one. Right? You have a hard time entering in while you drop that elbow. You go more circular. Bring this out, raising up. You go straight across, or think circular. Right? Big up, big down, dropping that center. So again, it's not about how tight he grabs. He's Koki. He's pushing with the top hand, pulling with the bottom hand. He raising up, step across, think third to buddy. Drop my center. Keep my ass forward. Taking multiple tackles. Oh, hey. Oh! It's my hips that are doing the throw. So as he grabs, the arm's kind of an added bonus. Turning as I raise and I step. I turn my center. If you watch my OB, my knot right here, and I turn, he's losing his balance, right? And the arms just kind of fall up. He's one going for me. <laughs> Maybe she stay grounded with this. Awesome. So rotatory pokey ho. Um, teams to stick together and else switch it up. Shmas. Shmas. Hock them up with non hock them up. Step across the center. So, 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 nope. 
switch. This switch? Thank you. There you go. No, it's right. Now it's your turn. More hips than arms. So we both coke you when we present, right? If I'm here, I'm collapsed, I'm at a disadvantage. I wouldn't think to do an arimi nagi from here because I'm entering in and I'm at a big disadvantage, right? Uh, especially with the larger attacker, right? So coke you, right? As I'm coke you, I coke you out, opening this window. Even if he's pushing this way, right? I can coke you out, getting way behind him, I should see the back of his head. And if they have long hair, grab his shoulder. If not, grab their gi, their collar, drop your center. Right? Now, the larger attacker, you're going to be mindful of pulling him in too far. Because then you're going to get overpowered and then you're stuck, right? Thinking classroom application for this, right? Showman, poke you, right? Step behind. Right? A larger person, you don't want to pull them too far into you because then you're fighting and you're getting stuck and then you're trying to muscle them, right? <clears throat> Get behind. Right? Drop that center. Going from palm up to palm down. Right? So if you look at my feet, they're facing the same way that Uke's are. Right? I turn my feet. Is that a remi? I go from a palm up as I extend to a palm down and step forward. And coke you. Same side. Also here. This is thinking, you know. Uh, partners working with you, right? If they're working against you or they're resisting a little bit, then of course the dynamic of the technique should change, right? They can be the same size, they can have a little more experience, they can be larger, right? Aikido is not just for one person, one body type. You have to be able to change the dynamic, right? Well, he's in here, and I teach him in here, and I teach some kids, they just learn classroom, that's all they want. Some kids, they learn practical applications. Jaren asked me the same thing. I was like, hey, how do you deal with a bully? You know, you have to have control about it, right? You just can't go balls to the wall and snap their wrist with a sankyo because you know how to do it. You know, you have to think about, hey, this is a kid. Now, if it's an older kid, if it's an adult grabbing you, you know, when you get that sankyo, by all means, it's, you know, their intent. It's not a very nice word outside these four walls, and it's proven because schools are taking, you know, control and the power out of the kids and the parents' hands. I'm sure you've dealt with, you know, that I dealt with it as a kid. Now I'm dealing with my 10 year old. And I'm like, dude, we're teaching you. I want you to apply it. Same thing goes for you guys, right? Somebody's screwing with you. And you're just like, okay, I told teacher, I told principal, mom, dad. Well, you know, being on this side as parents, you know, we understand it. I'd rather you get in trouble for defending yourself and using the amount of force required than you getting in trouble getting hurt 
because when school sees it as no matter what, if you're involved in it, you both get in trouble. You know, I'm gonna make sure my kid comes home safe every day. That's why we teach to the extent we do, you know? And every now and again, we do get kids that get bullied. So just try to have that mindset in here because it's outside the four walls, okay? Right? So, again, showman teeth. Starting off the basic, showman. He's a tiny attacker. Pull him up, you pull him down as you turn. You pull him. All right? Have that mindset stick at the end of your technique. All right, so Shonen Chi or Rimi Nage, um, train to level your partner, and then uh, teams go ahead and stick together, everyone else swap it up again. Shmas. 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 If they go over your leg, it's going to turn into almost a high fall for them. But if they go out, then you know they're kind of away from the body. I know an easier variation of that. There's a lot of similarities with it. One we're going to do here in a little bit, Barry, might look really familiar to a jiu jitsu throw. I'll do it right here for two jiu Yeah. 
Don't let that hand drop, Jared. <coughs> Get to bring his head directly on your shoulder, like your shoulder is a pillow, and he's going to sleep. That's where you're going to send him. Yeah. You've got to bring him in that far, otherwise, otherwise he retains his strength. Okay, right there. When you grab him here, you want to bring that. That head needs to be on your shoulder. Actual contact. Don't let that drop. Remember, stand, keep it out front the whole time. You want my hand out here. <coughs> keep your chest up. So there you go. Keep right this up there. right there. Don't let it, don't pull it down. Don't. I know it's a little different. So when you go through, you're here. Uh -huh. Don't let this drop. You're not pulling with this hand, you're pulling with this hand. Back because here behind you. Okay. Your leg. So okay. you're so it's because when you start. When you're, so if we're doing an awase, right? He comes in. So he, yeah. Yes, I pull it down because I'm continuing to move, right? But if I'm doing static, if I drop this, he's going this way. He can step forward and grab shihonage or anything he wants because we're doing static. You good? So remember, keep it out in front the whole time. So. Get way behind her. See the back of her head. And then pull her into your shoulder. Drop me. I know it's hard. When you got when you learn one way and then you start, you know, training a different way, you know. I do it a lot. I did it a lot too when I first started. Yeah. So everybody good? Something we work with. Another basic one. You start learning is from a yokeman. Yokeman being uh, strike to the side of the head. So as he yokemans, I'm gonna enter in. Right now, on the street, probably not the best thing to do, right? If you, especially if they're bigger. And somebody's really not gonna walk up on the street and come up, you know, yokeman strike. They might go in the beer bottle. They might be throwing a hook punch, um, which we've talked about. You know, we do uh, our YouTube and stuff like that. We'll post in there. Somebody coming with a hook punch. Somebody coming in with a beer bottle. Or uh, we did almost like a two by four. Right? <clears throat> a baton. You know, those are more likely to happen. But if you have a general understanding of this motion, then you're like, okay, I know how to apply this, right? Just teaching um, out of the book, one of the first ones you'll learn is the Yoko Minuti, is as I enter and I coke you towards him. So I coke you here. I stop this here and I get this hand right in front of me, right? I get behind him and I make almost an X here, right? Keeping this kokyu, bring this out and it turns into almost what the Shomuchi was. And it's the same throw. Right? the same side. So as he opens, he steps in, I slide, I kokyu, right? Make an X in front of my center, kokyu this out, let him go by me and I can grab. I can grab here, I can trap the Koshida, and I can throw as well. Um, what's that? So Yokeman's poke you, right? Make an X here, get behind him. It's the same thing we were just doing with that showman. 
So stopping him here. Right? Make that X, co this out, go from a palm up, and palm down. Right? Uh, change our partners again. It's going to be a Yoko Minuchi or Riminari. Right? Just remember, like I said, this is inside the classroom application. Uh, we will show some variations that you can more likely apply. Right? <coughs> Pick somebody. Any, meeny, money, go. To add the personal touch. Okay, you want to keep your other hand up for defense. So that's why we use. Okay. 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 You want to hit up like this? Yeah. I'm going to slide it You see how I've got this hand coming here? It's like, hey, I'm going to hit you. No. Right? So we don't want that. So cutting. So like, like this. I'm just looking at you. Huh? So, no. Train. Train. Pay no attention to the man behind the camera. So take your inside leg and step back. Nope, I don't know. Step back. So hold on, let's see. Remember, you open it. No, when you open it, you hear it. There you go. Forward so as I'm going backwards, there you go. Like fall back. So you want. So when you open it, this one's here. So you open it, Jerry. Remember that backwards fall we did? That's what you're doing. Alright. It's just doing it inside. Let's start a second by face at this point. So let's start thinking of a showman, right? Showman. Alright. And he stops. Uh, there you go. Oh, there's that hand. So you that. So if you miss that hand, doing it. I'm going to get you. 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 Yeah, so. So when you slide in, really? So as you slide in, you open This one's almost an attempt. Right? And if you. I mean, you can make it an attempt, but something might miss. Right? So you want to go co you this one. And then slide. This one goes from here. Mix an X. Co Q. Your front leg right now. And step back. And then you do your step. It all it goes back to the shoulder Nucci. <coughs> okay. And then get under the so you want to step in. So, so the angle, okay. not just stand there, but come on. Okay. So when you do it, you want to shoot. That way you can treat it like a show. Okay. So slide in. Slide in. Slide in. So you see how I'm more off balance here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're going to make an X so over top. Yep, just like that. You slide no. just, just the same motion we were doing Okay. Yeah. Just my shoulder. So I'm still like that. trying to keep now, you. Now you grab my shoulder, just like that. my collar, oh, on my neck. Yeah. Drop it. And it's going to your shoulder. So, all right. You just grab it. Yep. Here, you're going to have to shoot. After the yoke, it turns into the shoulder. Here, come up. Get my head back. And then it steps. I know how to do the false. So don't try it. <laughs> hey, so let's do that again. Make sure you step in when you're doing it. Okay, so this one was hot for me. I'm very hot for you. Just don't wait on And then I'm sliding. Yeah. And hey, that's all well and good. You know how to protect yourself. Okay, she can help. Okay. She's sliding to the side. So now you're going to slide that direction. So, here. Ooh, like that. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Make your X. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Bring it on up. Yeah. And it's the same technique. And getting my head up. And you don't get my head up. Oh. Yeah. 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 Now turn your thumb down. Right? Step forward when you do that throw. Huh? You want to make sure you're good. All right. No. Up. 
contact with his body and then I have his hand here to grab because I get the shoulder right if I miss right there I can get back here so as he opens I raise this one comes in here and then I'm already connected to him uh, so as he opens right getting off that line and I grab the shoulder slow down a little bit so he opens I raise coke you right Make that X. This one grabs, pulls it in. Right? I don't have to go forward. His body's going this way, and I'm already going this way. I'm a tank on. Keeps the motion moving backwards. Right? So just uh, slow down. I can open. I raise. This hand grab. This time I grab down here. His body wants to go this way. Fine. So I'm trying to go forward and break the momentum, I'm going to step backwards. Ten times. Right? Just like when we do Tyler Nico at the end of the class. <clears throat> His body's going this way, fine. I'm going to go this way. I can let that continue and just move. Right? Let him with my partner. <clears throat> His energy wants to go circular, I'm going to let him go circular. I said, not thinking of, I have to do it this way. Right? The dynamic of it can change a little bit. So you guys can see the hands. Uh, almost like a uh, deflection and blending. He raises, getting out of the way. Right? He's coming on line, it's fine. Let him go by. And as that happens, I can grab right here. Say I don't get to grab at all. Right? Say I just get his hand out of my way. It's right here on his back, on his hip, right? <clears throat> what I don't want to do is as he's yoking me, I don't want to push this up. Then I got disconnected. I get disconnected, then there's a whole lot that can go on there. So, um, slogan, he opens, raising up, grabbing, then his hand through, get it up here, get it up on the shore, pass your hips. Step forward, right, step forward, or move circular. Stay low. <clears throat> If I stand up straight and I try to tank on with him, it's going to be very awkward and I'm going to end up falling over. <coughs> I don't want that. <clears throat> uh, so, again, pick up. so if he comes in, uh, half speed. Pick up. Three. Oh. Boom, circle. Um, 75, sure. All right. I got to think I can do it. Three. Right. Slide back with him. 
You see what happened, right? If I try to throw, if I'm off balance, then I'm gonna end up falling. So as he came in, uh, so again, right here. I came over here, his body's going this way, right? I slid back with him. I let the momentum catch me. I didn't try to stop it and then turn. Because if I would stopped, tried to tank on, he would have fell on top of me, right? And it just would be an ineffective technique. So one more time. Right. Uh, 75. Three. Oh! I'm drop him low. Right. I'm staying low because I want him to go low. If I stay tall, trying to throw him low and we're moving circular, then I'm off balance. Right, so do it slow with your partners. It's, um, actually we'll do, we'll do it on line work. Um, that's fine, we'll do it on line work. I'll start off um, with you guys, you guys will all yell them in, and then everyone will go through it um, once or twice. It depends on how fast we get through it the first time. Okay, so I'm still making a line down there. Wow. <laughs> Just uh, walk up and do it. So all you're gonna do is you're coming in with the opening, all right? All right, Navi, all right, person doing technique, you're gonna get off the line, make that X, hang on. So the opening, make that X, bring men, keep the line going backwards. The opening. And we're trying to level with your partner. So, get all this and kind of things over here. Mm -hmm. Mix that X and bring you in. Yes. Protect your partner, too. Ready? Right. Oh! Bigger guy, bigger movement. <laughs> right, okay. Remember, you know, as you guys are uh, doing the technique, you know, you're getting off that line, make that X, and you, you know, that back end to flex. If you can grab, grab. Oh. Glasses are flying, Jerry and David. Right. Yeah. Oh. There's one after class, I'll demonstrate. It's uh, more of a jiu-jitsu base that you'll see. Jared is notorious for happy feet, especially before a break ball. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, switch. Splendid, your turn. Gotta get through everybody. Yeah. So it's out. 
And then just you can, you can go back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can step forward or you can ten con. Just throw them wrong feet to step forward. Yeah, yeah. No, you can step forward from there. Just you'd be sliding in. Yeah. So when um when they open, you open, you open. Mm -hmm. So you're here. Grab and then you step straight back. And then drop. Well, take spot up. And then so, okay. So as he's um, as he opens, right, make an X, and then this hand is going to fly, and then you grab, and then you get Yeah. So he opens, and you're here. Jaren, or uh, OG. All right. So we'll move together. So he opens, you go, you just walk you here. See how this one comes in here? You can grab, drop your center. So you're pushing down with this one. There you go. And then you step straight back. There you go. Take it that way. Good. There we go. And then take spiral. One more. Jerry. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. 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 Alright. Well, let's see. Your turn. We'll walk through it. Yeah. So, as I yield to me, we're going to get off the line. Should chance to throw some by the way. Right here. Grab. <laughs> stay low. If you want to keep your feet spread, you drop spread. I'm used to staying low. Well, spread. You must have a good center when you throw, especially somebody's ears. Yo. So get off. You gotta get off one. There you go. Now step straight back. There you go. Good. Uh, Barry, your turn. Uh, you're gonna do the technique. So. I'll let you hop in line. Jaren, you're attacking Barry. Okay. So Barry, you're going to do the Arena Nage variation. So as he yoke him in, so you're here, so Jaren. Uh, so left foot forward. So you yoke. And then, so yoke him. Okay. So this one. So you start out with it out in front. You're here. This okay. one goes here. And then you grab it. So keep your front hand out in front until he passes by. Oh, like that. There you go. And then you can grab, grab it straight. bring them straight into you. Yes. And you want to keep this out here. And then you set straight back. Good. And then you want to drop, bend your knees more. You don't want to try to bend over too much. Then you're off balance. Oh, Billy, look me. So you don't want to meet them. With this variation, you want to get off the line as soon as it starts to strike. So do it again, Billy. So hands out in front. Right. So, like that. You want to slide to the outside though. Yeah, As he's yoke in, yeah, at the same time. Yeah. Grab his gi. There you go. Yeah. And then step straight back. Ten times. Good. OG. Hey. Strike. Uh, so as he's striking, get out of the way. So let it kind of go by you. Right. There you go. Nice. And then, yep, drop, drop the center. Uh, one more window. <clears throat> Nice. Alright, All right. Um, we'll go ahead and bow out and then uh, show you a couple other variations that we can uh, work into some of the classes. So, Live from Rogue Warriors. He's a uh, Tenshi Nakito uh, and Combative Concept. We're hosting him here in Virginia Beach. He's going to be over with um, Bruce Williams in Mid Atlantic. They got a real nice uh, facility over there. <clears throat> a lot of mat space. So far, I think we have I think 18 people signed up for it. We got some people coming. Uh, a friend of mine, Gangs Polanco, he's coming from um, up in New York, and then another guy from New York. 
got uh, a couple guys from Kentucky coming. So it's pretty cool. And then uh, we got Pat Hendricks this weekend uh, up in DC, Yvonne Sensei, who we're hosting as well. So we got two instructors, <clears throat> two completely different styles of Aikido. We got Nawama style, you know, there's a lot of your traditional stuff that we do. And then you have your Tenshin style. And uh, Lenny's been training for a long time. Um, he's kind of taking a new path with Aikido, which is really good. So if you guys haven't seen his stuff, and um, I highly recommend checking him out. We tag him in a lot of our stuff. He tags us in his um, on YouTube and on Facebook. So check him out. Check out our stuff. But it's on the board. Um, Ninety-five dollars for uh, all the students. So go ahead and register for that. It's a Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we'll start in the morning. Go till probably four o'clock. OG is going to be testing for Shodan. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's the second one, no, one, one, two, three, third one, Chris and I have promoted yep. since we've uh, taken over as Dojo Toes. Um, so last time we just hosted Yvonne. She's out of Aikido, Arlington, up towards uh, DC, right outside. And then Lenny Sly, uh, his first seminar he's done in a while. So it's kind of a big deal. He's pretty much the talk of Aikido right now. We're out there too because of him. So, uh, you guys, if you if you go to the Facebook store, it's gonna be the $125. So anyone coming from out of town, they're gonna pay the full price. It's you know the $95 is for students. Um, we're working on a T-shirt. We just got a new logo for Lenny, and it's gonna be our logo, his, Yvonne Sensei's, and Bruce Williams. So four different dojo logos on there. Uh, it'll have some wording and then the Saito calligraphy. Let's on our shirts up there. That's the Saito Sensei calligraphy. Um, it's one of his earlier calligraphies. And if you see some of his later stuff, it kind of just like you know your style of Aikido, <clears throat> it changes, right? That's you know his early calligraphy and Mark Larson uh, Sensei, you know, thinks it's very fitting for Christian I for the dojo um, that calligraphy. <clears throat> So uh, those will be $20 for students, and then anyone else uh, is going to be $25, but <clears throat> we're working on those. We'll have those up here soon so everyone can check them out. Um, we're only doing a limited amount of them, so uh, of course, you know, if you guys don't make it to the seminar and you want one, you know, we can take care of that and get you guys one. But like I said, it's 20th and 21st, it's a Saturday, Sunday, um, we'll start in the morning. We got the schedule on Facebook. So if you guys haven't been on our Facebook yet, please get on there. Follow us. I think you're on there. Um, check out YouTube. You know, our Wama Warriors. We're growing a lot. <clears throat> we're over, uh, we're almost at 1,100 subscribers. One of our videos is over 1,000 views. Um, we just started really back in January. So, and we already got people from uh, Santiago, Chile, a uh, friend of ours. Victor Gallardo, he's down there, and he has a dojo. Um, he's been following our stuff. We got guys up in Canada. We got people who don't know who Pat Sensei and Mark Sensei are out in Sweden that are a different style of Aikido that have been following our YouTube. So, I mean, we're making a different path, taking the dojo in a different way. Um, so, that's all I have with that. It's on the board. We have flyers for it. Um, and then I wanted to, if you guys don't mind, I want to just go through a couple of the variations of, you'll see one that's almost like a judo or jujitsu based uh, variation. So, OG. Just lost your mouth. Um, slide over there. All right, so, um, we're going to a variation with the Irimi Nage, right? So, the first one we did, he opened in, we entered, right? Second one we did, <clears throat> we let it go by. Getting here, another one is receiving it, right? Setting off that line. So he yoke him in yeah. off that line, right? Cuts us down, continue that circle, circular motion. Is that how we did it? That was one of them, yeah. One of them. So receiving it, he yoke him in, right? Yeah. Receiving, cutting it down, right? Continue into that green right? nut. Another one. Um, different. We we actually did a video on this one. So he grabs, right? 
Something grabs you, caught to the shoulder, right? Coke you towards the elbow here, or grabbing if you get your arm around, stepping in, you come with an attempt in your elbow, grabbing him, and when we go all the way through, he actually goes over my leg into a high fall. So, one more time, just grab him. He grabs, right? You can do a lot from here, Niki Osanke, you can do a lot of techniques. Right, you can go to the inside, you can get to the outside, drops his body. You're stepping in, so you're taking away that punch and that kick, because you're coming in here with an elbow strike, or you're coming in, you know, straight across, and then you're going over your leg. And then you have a pin, you can do OG's favorite, the windshield wiper. I love this pin. Yeah. <clears throat> but, uh, an Awase, as he's grabbing, doesn't take a whole lot. They're coming towards you, and you're turning, and you're just kind of receiving the technique. Right? So those are um, a couple of the variations that you guys, you know, if you want to do them in class, after you guys get some of the basic ones down. Of course, basics are everything. So if we don't know the basics, we're not going to be able to, you know, do variations like, you know, Hank Awaza's or more of the applicable that you're going to be able to use out there. So, um, really it. Uh, so if we could please uh, sweep the mats, uh, mopping can be done Friday. Cass just cleaned these because uh, the sign guy was in here. So um, my wife actually just cleaned these. <clears throat> so if you guys, depending on who else here tomorrow, mopping, uh, definitely sweep the mats after class. Trash and goods, sweep the hard floor in the front. Um, these are, uh, this will be up on YouTube and Facebook, it's going now, but when you guys get out of here, get home or whatever, it'll be reposted, and you guys can watch what you did in class. So, kind of a how-to video for, if you guys, some homework, you guys want to watch, if you missed, you know, one of the hand deflections where you missed, you know, what we did. <clears throat> um, Jeff got some really good stuff of you guys, you know, explaining the technique, the by explaining it, or walking through it, so you guys sit there and watch it over and over again. We'll probably do some more stuff like this because it's just easier than um, instead of trying to put it on a DVD and stuff like that. We'll be using social media a lot for Facebook and YouTube. You guys want to got a question about something? Go through, click on it at home, and just you can sit there and watch it over and over and over again. And then come to class and be like, "Hey, can we do this again?" Or, "Hey, what if we look at it this way?" <clears throat> um, actually, a guy from Sweden was asking, "Hey, I'm only five foot four. How do you deal with a larger attacker?" Right? Well, hey, I'm only 5'7", and most of the people I team with are bigger. So it's going to change the dynamic of it. Right? Both my teachers, uh, my first teacher, Scott Sensei, he was a very tall. Uh, Pat Sensei, you know, she's shorter than I am, but she throws guys that are, you know, 6'6", 200, 300 pounds, like it's nothing because she understands the basics and then how to, you know, take it to make it work for her. Uh, you can ask Mark Larson since he, and Josh Gold for the Aikido Journal. It's not just one body type that does Aikido, right? If you have the mindset, you know, to make it work, you're going to find a way to train harder, make it work, and make it fit for you. So that's all I got. Sweep up, please, the hard floors. And uh, we got open mat tomorrow. We got class Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Uh, get a hold of OG, a 6 to 7. It seems like that's starting to pick up a little bit more. Got another guy interested in it. <coughs> he came this morning, but we, um, William being out of town, he's the only one. Okay, cool. Um, so that's available. So if that works for you, or if it works, Billy gets up early before he goes to work. <laughs> so, all right. Chmas. <coughs> <coughs>